all you have. Is... Sorry. One good deed a day is my limit. Anything else, and I might have a seizure or something. Marty, hey, sorry, don't we worry. can't all be saints like you. But all you have Bye. to do is just have a cozy little picnic. Well, she did bring us here. Then maybe she'll even come clean about the Reverend. Meanwhile, it's good to see you. Good to see you too. Yeah, we're really worried about you. Yeah. Is that a Joey special, or, or am I dreaming, man? <laughs> uh, Joe, you got one weird fixation with food, dude, but I'm grateful. Thank you. Yeah. So, was it really that bad, telling your folks? How bad would you guess? Bad? It was bad. It was worse than that, actually. It was, uh, it was even worse than I ever thought it could be. Okay, let's take an oath. An oath? Like with pricking our fingers and stuff? Because I'm not into the pain of no, blood No, no, thing. no, just a simple vow that we will never, ever, ever be like our parents. <laughs> I can do <laughs> that. Yeah, it's cool with me. Okay. I'm good. We swear, two fingers. I swear. That we will never be, be like, like our, our parents. parents. <laughs> Yay! <Yeah. laughs> I got a pretty nice sound. This is awesome. Let me have Pig. <laughs> oh. Keep it all to yourself, huh? <laughs> Now, come on, Joe. You can't tell me your dad didn't throw a fit about you being friends with me. He just said that I should stay out of other people's problems. Oh, so what was it? A, a strong recommendation or a complete ban? On what? On me. On having a homo for a friend. Would you stop using words like that? Why, Lana? I, I get used to them. I'm having to. All right. Joe, we all know that basically your dad's a good guy, right? But even he'd have a problem if he found out you were gay, right? Right? I guess. Well, you just keep those Joey specials coming, man, because I'm going to be the Phantom of the Rialto from now on. You are not staying here. How can I go back, Alana? Have you talked to my parents? Have you looked at their faces? They'll get used to it. It's not something you get used to. You know, all my life they've been telling me what they had planned for me, what their dreams were. They'd list them off one by one, you know. And not once. Not once did they ever say, don't let us down, Bill. We're planning on you growing up and being a queer. Not once. Billy, you can't stay here forever. I can stay here for now. Well, Joe. sooner or later, you're going to have to let your folks know where you are. Look, Joe, if they're so disappointed in who their son turned out to be, then maybe they should get a taste of what it's like to have no son at all. What if Joe and I go with you? And what? And face your folks. You know we'll stick by you, Billy. Yeah, but will my parents? They might. You're right. They might. How are you going to know if you don't give them a chance? They've had a lot of time to think. They're probably worried sick about you by now. And I'm sure they figured out that you're the same son they've loved for 17 years. Come on. Well, let us take you home. Look, yeah. you don't know them, all right? Guys, they... They don't, they don't even believe me. My dad thinks that something's just in my head, you know, that somebody put it there. My mom, she thinks it's something I'm going to get over, like, like chicken pox, you Billy. know? Billy. Look. Guys, if I thought there was any way I could, I'd go back home in a heartbeat. If I thought they'd look me in the eye and, and see me for who I am. And love me anyway. But that's not how it's going to be with them. 